Our manpower continues to wane in, cease, uh, in unceasing wars against the Irish. Hopefully it will all pay off, though. We are losing money. If I disabled, if I mothballed some forts, it would probably help us there. We don't need all these active. Scotland is actually loyal. I missed when that happened. They have negative 70 aggressive expansion against us. Still at 48% liberty desire, though. I just realized something. Because Scotland is now loyal, they will help us fight this war. Do any of these have any forts higher than level 1? No. So Liege will come into this as well. Liege is right here. Burgundy probably would let us have military. Actually, they would. They would let us have military access. So... I think I'm going to do something different then. Shift consolidate everything. Declare this war. Go and fight the armies. Shift consolidate again. Leave behind a single 1,000 troops. Show the province and have Scotland besiege it. And not, I was too late on that. What kind of uh, bonuses can we get from Age of Discovery? Wait, we've discovered America? How did that happen? I mean, I guess Greenland counts for some reason. Why do we know where Greenland is? Colonial range is 170. Okay. Anyway, yeah, apparently we know we've discovered America. Scotland, occupy or uh, see, lay siege to everything, if they can. Stack wipe all the armies. And I would imagine that Scotland's army is going to go to Kildare first. which we can't blockade. And it doesn't look like uh, Thaumann has any ships. So let's go blockade Ormond. Now the question is, do I want to go into Liege and take care of them as well? They might have a decent amount of money, though I don't know that for sure. If I tried to... Peace out Liege separately. I could get 75 gold. Eh. Not really worth it. But uh, that'll cut down on the amount of attrition we're suffering. And we do need manpower right now. Could build an armory. And London. We do have the room for it, right? 
it's not, I'm not going to regret that at some point later. It's fine. Thirteen and four, eleven and four. Okay. We could call in Savoy to this war. They could go siege down Liege for us. Eh. Sure. Come on, Savoy. And there's something else I was going to look for. Oh, yeah. Uh, what are my favors like with Austria and my other alliances? Castile has 11. Or we have 11 with Castile and 15 with Portugal. Alright. And now we just wait for these to get sieged down. Don't really want to build roads right now. Keywords right now. Okay, Siege of Ormond's over. Scotland has, have a siege leader? No. Also no. Where are they going? Lands end? I'd imagine they're coming around to here. Right? Where else would they go? Okay, they did gift to the state. Uh, yeah, we'll take a bunch of money. Truce with Burgundy has ended. Burgundy is at war. And uh, the Burgundian succession can still fire, I think. The siege is almost done. Still quite a while on the other one. I am tempted to burn army professionalism for manpower, even though I hate doing that. Every time I do it, it hurts. Alright, let's take a colonist, I guess. Oh, and that gives us actually an extra Diplo, uh, Diplo relation slot because uh, of the early ideas advancing our national ideas. We're no longer over the native, or uh, we're no longer over the relationship limit. So we don't have to break our alliance with Savoy. And Savoy is losing to Liege. Of course they are. Uh, Austrian separatists. All oh, right, uh, native policy. I am going with native coexistence because why not? We don't have any other bonuses right now that we can make use of that would decrease them. I don't think. Let's check our possible colonies. And what I should be doing is also exploring with some light ships. Oh, look at that. I have just as much as I have uh, just enough light chips to send three out to explore. I've apparently lost the subjugation cast spell against Scotland. Gained some cores.
How many leaders can we have? Three. We need 49 in order to... get our first explorer. Right, I wanted to see... I doubt there are any possible colonies, but I'm still going to check. Nope. Kill theirs, siege is one. Looks like some. Oh, Liège. That's annoying. I really don't want to have to do this, but. See no other way right now. I forgot, they can siege my land too. It's not just that I need to siege theirs, they, I need to prevent them from sieging mine. We'll arrive in Cherbourg, they'll run away. 6th of October, we'll beat them there on... Oh wow, I was going to say that was, was that a stack wipe? It wasn't, but I'm going to show Trey. I'd imagine they're going home to Liege. Let's get military access from Burgundy. Now we have an extra Diplo slot that we're using. Liège one out, no. National Epic. Lose money and admin points for some prestige. Okay, cool. Really? Can't get there? through Brabant. No? We just can't get there right now. Okay. Let's say I got military access through... No? Why not? Flemish opinion of me is not high enough. Okay, let's improve relations once. Won that siege. Fleet. I was going to say, why are we suffering attrition with two, with less than 2,000 troops there? Oh, Liege is uh, low enthusiasm. I'll just take white piece. 
fine. I need to cancel my military access with Brabant and also Burgundy once we get out of there. There we go. And that's 100% peace uh, or 100% war score. I think we... Nope, never mind. I was thinking we had to pay Diplo points no matter what for this, but... Everything's fine. Coalition-wise... Brittany's starting to get involved on, in the action. But aside from... But they're not really threatening. So we'll annex all three. troops coming here. I need three lights. And an explorer. He's actually not bad. And I'm going to go with the West African Sea for my first exploration. Do you guys need to come and pick up these with this army? Only four more Irish miners left. The Isles are still there and allied with Sligo. 60, 1466 is when we can go to war again against them. 1464 is when we can switch to a Diplo focus. That's three years away. Awfully is allied with Denmark. Of course they are. Sligo and Brittany. Turconnell is in a trade league with. Ragusa, Salzburg, Mantua, Verdun, and Byzantium. Byzantium still exists as a one province miner. Epirus is free somehow. Well, that was quick. Apparently we can't see much else. Let's go and look at the West African coast. Again, we won't be able to... Uh, they tell us of, about the event of the Prussian Confederation seeks Polish support, where among the possible options they went with, they shall have our full support to battle as their choice. Poland's opinion of Danzig changed by plus 100. Danzig's opinion of Poland and did alliance between Poland and Danzig. Okay. Oh, right. We need a royal marriage with Scotland. Completely spaced that. I could make uh, Scotland a march because it's uh, we just have to click this button and we inherit them. Scotland is a subject of England. I don't know. I don't really want to do that. I think Castile is in the middle of a civil war because they have a female heir. It looks like they might lose that. Or have like a pretender take control of the crown. And it looks like our the Yorkish heir of uh, Portugal died and was replaced with a an age zero weak claim of uh, the Davis family. All right, well, any other disputed successions of interest? No. Clergy still disloyal. Provincial unrest in multiple places. Just 
bring these guys home. Everything else. So this is the one that's in the trade league with Lubeck. This one's in the one with Ragusa. The other two are allied with each other and one of them with Denmark. Sligo is the uh, like obvious target it looks like. Provided they don't get any other allies. exploration. So uh, this is an example of no or very few wasteland provinces. Everything can be colonized except I can't reach these still. I don't think we'll even be able to reach this with the uh, extended colonial range. Uh, 170 plus half of that if we, right? Plus 25% or plus 50%. So, 170 plus 50 percent of that is 85 85. So, 255. Okay, we could we can reach all all three of those, or just two of those. No, just two of them. Right, we need to. Explore more. Let's go straight for the American East Coast then. And how are Spain and Portugal's exploration ideas doing? Uh, nothing for Spain, nothing for Portugal. Excellent. We are winning the colonial race already. Wallard heretics. Um kind of disappointing and scary. Wessex, Northumberland, Cumbria, Hull, and Sussex. Sussex is where they would rise up right now. 80%. And where's, what's the other likely one? I would guess... I would guess Northumberland, honestly, but I don't know how it prioritizes where they'll rise up after development. Let's go Wessex, just because that keeps the troops close to each other. Sussex is farmlands, Hull is farms, farmlands. Northumberland has a fort and is a marsh. All right, Wessex, Northumberland, both farmlands. Or no, Northumberland is the marsh. And Hull. Hull is also farmlands. So, yeah, might as well move them to Sussex and Wessex. Army reformer die. Morale of armies or discipline. I'll take morale of armies this early in the game. is already finished. Oh, we can already try to circumnavigate the globe, but uh, let's not do that. I feel like that would be a death wish. Go with North Atlantic Sea.
Oh, okay, that was... They actually rose up in Wessex, of all places. I am surprised. Where would I not want them to go? Well, I don't want them to go anywhere, honestly. Let's just have our armies go to Sussex. This is gonna cause a lot of damage to my manpower. One of the armies is almost fully reinforced. And that's about to change. Social reform. Our country is going through an extensive social re reorganization. Aristocratic lands are hugely being reduced and Promises have been made to lessen the peasants' burden. A consequence of the liberation of the serfs, who compose a large part of the population, is the hostile reaction of both of the nobles in our realm. Gain for base production in Gascony, lose legitimacy. Yeah, might as well. What does Gascony produce anyway? Wine? Not necessarily bad. It's a pretty good battle, I'd say. Next uh, revolt will be the Ulsterian Separatists, by the looks of it. Could be any of the, any of them, honestly. Two of a kind. Our Queen Consort Marie has impressed many men and women at court with her sharp wit and extensive knowledge of the natural world. Uh, skill three, natural scientist of Burgundian heritage. Advisor is fifty percent cheaper to hire. I don't think that's a good idea. Gain admin points. We are getting pretty high on admin. Almost 20 years in, and uh, our general is still alive. Not too bad a general. 32... What is our total force limit? 35. Current maneuver... Alright, I'm actually going to have both armies in the pale for... A while, I think. Oh, we might be able to reach the coast of Greenland. Like, not the two that I'm... The two provinces that are normally colonizable in Greenland. I forgot we could possibly colonize the normally wasteland part of Greenland. I'll have to wait and see if that is treason against England, unfortunately. Uh, we'll take some extra armored professionalism, which is one of the reasons why I'm moving these guys together, so that we can Drill them. Yes? No? Okay. 258. So, if we had this next uh, diplo or exploration idea, we would be able to... We would almost be able to colonize East Greenland.
And I'm not going to have them circumnavigate the globe. That's that's dumb. At this stage of the game. For now, we'll just have these guys protect trade. Burgundy is winning their war against France. I don't know whether I should think that's scary or if I should be pleased that France is losing. Anyway, we still need to get more manpower in order to continue to reinforce our armies and conquer the Irish. I don't know if I said it already, but after I take uh, the colonial range idea, I'll probably promote Irish and possibly other cultures as well. I guess I can only promote one, so Irish by the looks of it for development-wise. Gained core provinces. And there's still more Irish land to add to add to the states that we have. So, uh, yeah. We'll continue with conquering the Irish in the next episode.